Hello guys, my name is Balakrishna Shivastav and welcome to Code with PK. So in this video, we solve the question 6 of IST 2023 Computer Science Theory Paper. So before we begin, it is a request to please, 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 please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only one or two are subscribed and a subscription is very important. So please, 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 please do subscribe to my channel. So this is question 6 of IST 2023 Computer Science Theory Paper and take a couple of minutes and give it a reading. So I believe we have read it completely and the first most important point in solving any question in ICSC board's paper is read the question entirely. Okay, you might think, okay, you know things, but you have to read it entirely. Okay, read it from the first letter, read it till the end till the last period. Okay, so we have to write this class num dude and they are getting cool with the names and we also have to write the main function. In certain questions, you don't have to write a main function. In this case, you do. Right, that's why it is important to read the entire question. Okay, so I'm going to first write the class and then I'm going to write the main function. And remember, since I am on a system, I can type and delete. But you people will be writing it on a paper with pen, right? So you have to be thoughtful, you have to be careful. It's okay if you make mistakes, you can always cross and rewrite, okay? But try not to make mistakes. And you may want to leave some space when you're writing the code so that if you have something additional to write later on, you can add that, okay? All right. So the first thing it says, write class num dude. So I'm going to say class num dude. Okay. You can make it public. You cannot make it public. Does not matter. Okay. Class num dude. You have to keep the class name exactly the same as mentioned in the question. Okay. The second thing is num is an instance variable to store a positive integer. So we say int num and I make it private. Okay. You make all data members private and all functions and constructor as public. You have a default constructor. Default constructor means no arguments. So no arguments between parentheses. So I say public. I make the constructor public. Okay. All right. And give it a legal initial value. So you have to assign it to some integer which traditionally or conventionally is zero. Even if you make it 100, it does not make a difference. But making it zero is conventionally or traditionally correct. Okay. It just has to be some legal initial value. That is, it has to be some legal integer. Okay. So our constructor is done. Okay. All right. Next thing is void input. Since this is a method, I'm going to make it public, public void input. Okay. Does not take any parameters and I'm making sure my name of the method is exactly the same. Okay. All right. To accept a positive integer. Now you have to accept a positive integer from the user. And for that, you will need some scanner object or data input stream. Right. So I am going to use scanner. So I am going to import java dot util dot scanner. Okay. So you might think that there may be a case that you can have a scanner here as well. Private scanner scan. But in the question description, there is no other private data member apart from num. So I would not want this. I would like to complete this problem sticking to the requirements as much as possible and making minimum assumptions. Okay. So you have to accept a positive integer in this method. So I can create a scanner here itself. System dot in. System dot in. Okay. Now I have to accept a positive integer. Okay. So I am going to write a prompt print enter a positive integer. Okay. All right. This is totally optional. This is not a part of the requirement that you have to prompt anything. You just have to accept, but I'm writing this so that when I run the program, it is easier for me. Okay. You can choose to, or you can choose not to write this. Okay. Then we read num using the scanner dot next. Okay. Now you might start thinking that they're asking for a positive integer. What if the user enters a negative integer? So you would want to maybe add a check like this. If num is less than equal to zero, something like this and print a message. You don't have to do this. Okay. If you look at the question, there is no mention of making sure the input is a positive integer. It is assumed that the input is a positive integer. If it mentions that you have to check, then you write the code. Otherwise you don't. Okay. That's why I say you have to stick to the requirements as closely as possible and go to the question. Okay. All right. And then you can close the scanner or you can choose not to close. It depends upon you. Since I'm coding it on a system and since I have a habit, I'm going to close this. Okay, so my input is done as well. Moving on, I have this recursive function. Okay, now since this is a member method, I'm going to make it public. Okay, int some digits. 
okay int x all right keeping the name of the method exactly the same some digits some digits return is int and it takes an int parameter int x okay all right and since the name of the parameter that is being passed is x you would want to stick it to x you can change it to a it does not matter right but again sticking to the question requirements okay now this method is recursive okay you have to use recursive technique so i've already added a lot of videos that shows how to solve recursive problems okay and i always say whenever you solve a recursive problem you have to divide the problem into two cases one is your base case and the other is your recursive case okay if you can divide the problem into these you will be able to solve the problem so the base case is when the recursion stops so in this given question recursion stops when x is 0 so if x is 0 sum of digits is 0 okay so this is my base case if x is 0 okay return 0 okay recursive case is sum of digits of x is equal to last digit of x okay plus sum of x minus the last digit okay x remove the last digit okay remove the last digit for example if i have say 1 2 3 so the sum of digits of 1 2 3 sum of digits of 1 2 3 is 3 plus sum of removing this digit 3 from this 1 2 3 so sum of 1 2 so if you apply this formula again on sum of 1 2 so you get sum of digits of the digits of 1 2 is last digit which is 2 plus sum of this minus the last digit you remove the last digit digits of 1 okay so again you apply the same thing sum of digits of 1 okay is equal to last digit plus sum of 1 removing this last digit so digits of 0 okay because when you remove the last digit you are left with 0 so 3 to 1 you get the sum of all these digits okay so my recursive case is going to be i have to find the last digit first okay which is going to be x percent 10 so whenever you do percent 10 you get the units digit okay and i am naming this variable as last digit not l a b c d because they want you to name the variable names for the purpose they solve okay so in this case this is the last digit so i have named it accordingly okay so you can add a comment get the last digit and remove the last digit okay and the technique to remove the last digit is dividing by 10 so x divided by 10 and storing it back into x okay so i will solve this problem to find the sum of digits recursively on whiteboard so this will be much more clearer okay so let me just complete the code right now so i got the last digit i removed the last digit and then i recur okay so my recursive case is last digit plus sum of the remaining so sum is going to be last digit plus sum of remaining which is now x so call sum digits sorry x okay and this is my sum digits method now i am adding these comments for you to understand you don't have to write all this you don't have to explain you just have to complete the code okay stick to the requirements it does not say that you have to explain anywhere okay next method is this void is dude so i'm going to say since this is a method so public return type is void void is dude okay and there is no return type and there's no argument so you have to check if num is dude in this very method and pin the message in this very method appropriately okay checks whether the given number is dude number by invoking the function sum digits you have to call this helper method sum digits and displays the result with an appropriate message okay all right so i'm going to say in sum of digits is equal to calling this method sum digits and passing the value num because we have to check if num is a dude number or not okay given number which is num okay all right again taking the name of the variable as sum of digits and not s or something else because i want this variable to depict the purpose it is used for okay now this number num is a dude number if the sum of the digits if the cube of the sum of digits is equal to the number so you can say m int sum of digits q okay i'll say sum of digits into sum of digits into sum of digits okay you can use math.pow but that is going to return a double so you have to type cast so i'm going to use multiplication like this to find the cube okay 
Now this sum of digits cube has to be equal to num for this to be a DVD number. If this is true, I print the message system dot out dot print lm num plus is a Dudeni number. Okay, else part would be it is not a Dudeni number. Okay, obviously I can copy paste. You guys will have to write. Okay, so my is Dude method is done. All right. So I am done with the constructor and the functions. I have to write a main, create an object, and call the functions. Okay. So name of the class is this. So I am going to cre create a public class with the same name. You can keep it public or not. It's your choice, and you can. Choose any class name you want. So you can simply say it question six or anything you want. Then I write the main public static void main string args. Okay. So create an object and call the functions accordingly. So in order to create an object, I okay create a variable of type num dude, which is the variable name is num dude with a lower case n. Again, you can choose n a b c d. But I would recommend against that, okay? Because this says this variable name says it is a num dude object conventionally, okay? All right, is equal to new num dude, and you call the default constructor, the one that does not take any arguments, okay? This one, okay. The next function that you would call is input, okay? Because when you create an object, you are setting num to zero. Now you want num to have a value, so you have to call input. So I use this object dot input. Okay. So input is going to run. So it is going to create a scanner object, ask for a positive number, store that net in num, and then close. Okay. And finally, I call is dude. Okay. So now the question is, why are we not calling this method? We are not calling this method because this method is called by is dude. Okay. So my main method is done as well. Okay. So I'm going to run this and check. Okay. So Java C, ISC, computer science. Okay. Oh, I missed a colon. Silly mistake. Okay. So again, compiling and running Java, ISC, computer science. Okay. Positive integer. I'll give it the sample case, which was five eight three two. Five eight three two is a dude number. All right. Okay. Let me run again. Okay. I can give it twenty-seven. Is not a root number. Seven plus two nine. Nine cube is nine. Is eighty-one. Nine is seventy-nine. Okay. All right. So this was the solution to this problem, and I hope this was helpful. And if you want this solution in Hindi, please let me know in the comments. I will post the solution for the same on the Hindi channel as well. Also, I will add a separate video that will explain how this actually works on a whiteboard. Okay. And I will add the link of this code in the description as well. Okay, so you people can directly copy the code and check this out. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. You like this video, so please, 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 please subscribe to my channel. And if there was something that you did not like about this video, please just don't press the dislike button. Please also let me know in the comments what was it that you did not like about this video, so that I can improve on my further videos. And you can obviously let me know in the comments if there is another question you want me to solve or if there is a concept you want to discuss. Thank you.